Fraud is draining health service resources of hundreds of millions of pounds per year. In a system that's already strapped for cash, those holding the purse strings believe in the most extreme cases where money's being stolen, offenders should be appropriately punished. Committing fraud is committing a criminal act, so you bring the full force of the law on you and uh, we have instances where people are getting jail sentences or suspended jail sentences for committing fraud. The problem isn't being dealt with lightly. In fact, for the first time within the health service, a large-scale counter-fraud programme is being activated. So just how can people defraud the system? Well, when it comes to staff, the team are examining those who are falsely claiming travel expenses. It's also targeting those workers, including doctors and consultants, who lie about how many hours they've worked, and others who fraudulently claim for alliances, such as nursing bursaries. Focusing on the public, investigators will look at those who give false information when claiming social care benefits. Foreign nationals who claim to be living here in order to secure free health care. And those claiming prescription medicines, which aren't required. But for this operation to be successful, it's relying on whistleblowers. Well, certainly within the system, uh, there's people who are frauding it and we can provide protection to our staff who come forward. Uh, the public will also be protected um, through, through the relevant authorities. There's a hotline number for them to contact. Uh, so we would encourage people who have information to step forward. So for example, last year, over 100 people um, who were residents in the Republic of Ireland uh, claimed health care in Northern Ireland, and uh, we've reclaimed that money. While a quarter of a billion pounds per year is being quoted, that's the worst case scenario. But even at the other end of the scale, say 40 million pounds, that would still pay for thousands of heart operations per year, also kidney transplants or a new wing of a hospital. Mary Louise Connolly, BBC Newsline.